Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, this is going to be the final in the series of showcasing this Sigma machine. And that is because this series has come to an end and it is time for me to send this machine back to Trusty Metrics. Now I want to start by saying a massive thank you to Trusty Metrics for letting me borrow this machine and showcase it on the channel. I really, really appreciate you sponsoring the last few videos of me using it. And it's been a really interesting and fun experience going through my stack and learning how to use this machine and verify not only silver, but also gold and palladium and platinum and even copper. I didn't even realise that you could actually verify copper using the Sigma machine. So yeah, it's been a really fun experience. I also love the fact that it doesn't need to be plugged in. It's got a built-in battery pack. That is a real added bonus. When I first started doing videos on this and they first sent me the machine, I started looking around for the nearest plug socket and trying to work out if I needed to get extension leads out and all the rest of it. And this actually has lasted the whole time. I haven't charged it once since I've had it. And you can see it's only on half full. So it's got a really good built-in battery as well, which is nice to see. Now we're going to start by getting myself a nice glass of whiskey. I'm actually filming on my bed today. And for those of you that are 365 Club members, you would have seen some behind the scenes photos on the members only community posts. And I showed you the behind the scenes of how I've set everything up today. And it's actually balancing, the tripod's balancing on my bed. So it might look, be a little bit more unstable than it normally is but i thought it'd be quite cool to film somewhere a little bit different and it's really really hot today so in my normal filming setup it gets quite warm in there so i thought you know what i'll film in my bedroom where i can open all the windows and it'll be a bit of a different setup so i do hope that the video's not too shaky but that's kind of what comes with when you're you're filming on a bed so yeah let's get straight into it now i'm actually having a glass of jack daniels and that is because I was talking to McDonald Bullion a little while back. I think I was talking to him on Saka Social and he was saying how he quite likes Jack Daniels on the rocks. And I remember trying Jack Daniels straight before a long time ago, probably eight years ago or something. Now I tried it on the rocks and it tasted not very nice at all. And ever since then, I've always had it with Coke. But he said he quite likes it on the rocks. So I thought, you know what, I'll get myself a bottle and I'll give it a try straight on the rocks and I'll see if over time my taste buds have changed and it's actually quite nice. So pleasantly surprised. So thank you very much, McDonald Bullion, for recommending JD on the rocks. Yeah, very nice indeed. Makes a nice change to some of the other whiskies that I've been drinking recently. So let's move that to one side. Now, like I said, this is going to be the final video in the series. I have actually spoken to Trusty Metrics and in the future, they're going to look into possibly sending me some of their other models for me to showcase on the channel, which would be really cool because up till now, this is the only machine that I've tried. This is the Investor. And in my opinion, from looking at all the different models they had on their site, this one looks like the best kind of all rounder in terms of price point and what its capabilities are. So that is why I requested for them to send me this one in the first place, because this one I thought would be most suited for my channel being not too expensive, but at the same time having lots of capabilities. So it will be quite cool to try some of the more expensive models in the future and also some of the cheaper ones as well, just to see what we can get from those and see what they're capable of. So we're also going to be using these wands which i haven't actually yet used in a video so i'm interested to see how well these perform but let's just start testing things now there's also a way of measuring the coins and the bars on here and i'm yet to try that on a video but i have actually had an email from trusty metrics explaining how to do it so i thought you know what instead of just trialing it off camera i'll trial it on camera and see how easy it is to pick up so we're going to be trialing that in a second as well but let's just get straight into it. Let's just try some different bits and pieces. I've got a, a whole array of different things to try here. And that is because I really wanted to do a kind of a summary video of using this machine and to show you what it's capable of. So let's start by doing a standard Britannia. We have some, what year is this one? 2021 Britannias here. So if we click on metal and then if we scroll along, we can actually go to, or is it this way along? 
this way along. Yep, yeah, goes to coins. Oh, there we go. It's on Britannia already from when I was last using it. So we click on Britannia. You put the coin underneath there. You push down. You can just keep your hands there while it tests, or you can use this little bit here to put in like that and that just holds it in place now you can see it's sitting between the green and the yellow mostly on the green but even if it's on the yellow it's fine you've only got to really worry if it goes on the red now something really interesting to notice on this machine as well is this little logo here now this logo here is an arrow going through and that is to show you that this is actually testing all the way through the metal it's not just testing the outside surface it's actually testing the whole way through so that's really important to take note because some of the less expensive versions of this machine, they only test the outside of the coin. So although they go in a little bit of a depth, they're not necessarily going the whole way through some of the thicker pieces. Whereas this one goes a lot deeper into the metal. So it's a lot more accurate at testing. But let's try and use the measure feature now. So if we click on measure, it says select sample type. So I'm going to select round, enter. And now what it does is it brings a measurement on the screen and that is how long the coin should be. Now this is really important because sometimes you can get counterfeit coins and they might pass the ping test, they might pass the magnet test, they might even pass the Sigma machine if they're mainly silver and only the very centre bit is copper if they're a thicker piece. But they won't pass the measurement test as well. They won't pass all of these tests. So that's why it's really nice to have this extra feature on the machine. And all you do is you put the coin up to the line. And it's quite hard to see at this angle on camera. But this line is the same length as the coin. So you can see it's not only passed the metal check on here. It's also passed the, the size and diameter check. So that's a really cool feature which I haven't yet tried on the Sigma machine. But that is just a very basic coin to start off with. We're going to move on to a different metal now. Now this is palladium. And what we do is we click on metal. And then we scroll back and we find uh, palladium. Yep, it's on palladium there. So now we click enter. Pop it underneath. And like I said, you can just use your hand to hold it down takes a few moments to register and you can see it's nicely in the green. So that's good to see. It is testing palladium there. So a different type of metal. Next, we're going to move on to let's do a little bit of gold. I haven't actually tried any gold on this machine yet. So it'd be quite nice to try a nice thick one ounce gold bar. Let's scroll across to oh, what have we done here. We want to go to metal. And we're going to go to gold, pure gold. Put the sample on there. Press that down. And you can see nicely in the green. Now let's check the dimensions by pressing measure. And this time we're going to go down to rectangular. Enter. And you can see it actually gives you a rectangle on the screen that the bar should fit within. So with these blister packs that have got a see through bit, it makes it a lot easier to have a look through and see. And again, it's quite hard to see on camera, but that actually fits in that rectangle absolutely perfectly. So again, really, really nice to be able to do so many checks using one machine. Let's move over to a different metal again. So we've done palladium, we've done some gold, we've done some silver. So let's do some platinum. Nice one ounce bar of platinum there. And again, click on metal and we're going to scroll across to other metals. We're going to go up to platinum and we're going to chuck it on there. Press and hold it down. Oh, that made my heart go a little bit. It took a little while to configure, but there you go. Nice and comfortably in the green. And again, if we click on measure rectangular and it gives you the dimensions that it should fit in and again because it's this kind of see-through blister pack here you can see round it and you can line it up absolutely perfectly there and you can see that again it fits nicely in the size on the machine so yeah really really cool and again that verifies that this is in fact pure palladium now some of the harder to test pieces i've actually brought out to try using these ones with 
And pieces like this, which are poured pieces, is a poured piece from Silverpunk. Really, really nice looking piece. But this isn't something you can just chuck underneath here. This is something we're going to have to use the wands for. And the same with this thick bar of copper. That won't actually fit underneath here. So again, this is where we need to use the wands to test it out. So let's get these wands plugged in and let's see how good these wands are. Now for the copper one, I'm going to go for this one here that says large. Now this is literally just checking the surface. So it's not as accurate as going all the way through, but it does still penetrate quite far into the metal. So if you're checking different points around the bar, you are still getting quite a fairly accurate reading. Now we're going to click on metal. We're going to scroll down to copper. And now we're literally just going to hold this on. I'm going to keep it in the wrapper. I'm going to touch it on there. Look at that. Straight in the middle there. Now, like I said, you can see on this side here in a minute when I touch it back on, the logo changes. So now it doesn't show you going all the way through. It just verifies a layer around the outside but like i said it does still penetrate a, a fairly substantial amount into the bar so if you're going around the bar checking all the different corners you can see that we're still getting copper reading even through the the coa there we're still getting a nice reading of copper so really nice these ones are really flexible and make it a lot more versatile when testing different size pieces now moving on to the poured piece, now I'm actually going to go for the smaller ones here. You can see it says S on it for small. And we're going to plug that in. And these are literally just plug them straight in and they work straight away. You literally plug it in, it says calibrating for a few seconds, and then it's literally ready to go. So really, really simple. We go to metal and we go back to pure silver. And now we're going to try one of Silver Punk's poured pieces. We're going to Put it on the back. We're going to try and find a nice flat part of the piece so we can get nice and into the metal. If we move it around on the back to find a nice bit that it goes into, there we go. You can see it's nicely on the green. So really cool. These ones come in really, really handy. And these ones could actually come in very handy for quickly checking things. If you don't want to have to keep putting every coin on there, you could literally just grab the coin. And you can see, tested. Next one, tested. Next one, tested. So you can actually use these ones to work through a whole tube of coins. It won't be as accurate as, like I said, going all the way through the metal. But when you're testing coins, it does penetrate very, very far into the metal. So potentially with a coin this size, it would penetrate all the way through, especially if you tried it on both sides. So that's really cool. That's something to bear in mind if you're testing lots of things in one go or if you're testing abnormal size things like that, where it hasn't really got flat surfaces all the way around or it won't fit underneath there. Next, I'm going to show you testing some fake gold. Now, this is actually a fake sovereign. I think I picked this up from Etsy. We're going to test this and we're going to put it over onto gold. Push that down and you can see it is comfortably in the red. It's not even on the scale. It's an arrow going off the scale. So you can see that is not real gold. But yeah, really, really versatile machine. It's really nice to have these ones to be able to check the thicker pieces. You actually got a separate one there that says bullion. So that would be more suited for quickly working your way through a say tube of coins or something like that to make it a lot quicker than putting each one on there but even if you put each one on there it's still not very long at all for it to verify also got the chest over there in the backdrop i still haven't decided exactly what i'm going to do with the chest or what i'm going to put in it yet so please do let me know in the comments section i've just realized there's one bar here that i haven't yet tried on the sigma now this is a one gram piece of gold and this won't be able to verify by putting it under there because it's simply too small. So we're going to try and use the smallest wand and see how it performs on a one gram piece of gold. 
let me get the small wand here so we're going to be using this one hopefully this works as it's going to be the last piece that we're testing pop it on there there we go and you can see it's gone nicely in the green so this small wand is really really handy for testing those smaller pieces this is in a blister pack and even in a blister pack you're able to verify that this is in fact real gold and with it being such a small piece and being so thin and being one gram these wands would actually penetrate the whole way through so when you're testing your one gram pieces of gold something like this is really a good way and a quick way of just verifying that it's the real deal so yeah, we're going to wrap the video up there. Like I said, thank you very much for watching. Thanks again, Trusty Metrics, for sponsoring my last few videos. I've really, really enjoyed it. It's been great fun. And I hope you all have a very nice day. Cheers, everyone.